Hello guys, this is the Swatter guy here. There has been a lot of stuff have been told in this Star Wars The Old Republic universe. Operation guides, to PvP guides, to a lot of guides, to collections, to achievements, to more. There has been a lot of stories have been told. And there is one particular that I want to go in right now. And that is my story about Star Wars The Old Republic and how my journey went and still going in Star Wars The Old Republic. The year 2009, me and my friends were playing a couple of games, uh, especially there was one particular which is called Star Wars Galaxies. If you're not particular with Star Wars Galaxies, Star Wars Galaxies is a massive uh, sandbox MMO back in the day. Uh, it was a huge success for me and I really loved the game. And I was playing in a couple of friends and things like that. And uh, I decided to watch the E3 on 2009. And uh, the EA press conference, uh, Bioware and LucasArts came in. And that was really strange. Uh, and first time I thought, we we gonna have a Kodor free or something like that? Because that would be amazing. And then I saw the Deceiver trailer. The first ever trailer uh, uh, announced in Star Wars The Old Republic and as well the game. It was a huge blast and I get I started to get the hype really really fast and as then on 2009 until 2011 I watched a lot of stuffs in there to videos to a uh, lot of uh, Gamescom conventions and uh, so on and on. Even Epic Mealtime was there in Gamescom or one convention or when everybody is giving the, the pre-order bonus, it was so fun to watch. Uh, so on, the gameplays I, I really love to watch. Back in the day it was much, much different than now, but to see that, it was really, really cool. And then I decided, okay, I want to go, this is my first, I want to go it to first. And I want to get the first time ever when I get some kind of these big things. But the first time ever I decided to want to buy the collector's edition of any kind of game. So I just went to the store and say, I want to pre-order Star Wars The Old Republic, the collector's edition. In 2010, uh, uh, I think December, or I know, I think 2011, when they said that you can pre-order it, and I decided to, okay, I'm gonna pre-order it, and I still watched a few gameplays and things like that, until then, they set the release date. Fans here in the UK, and all the great fans all over the world, and what, what, could, what could be a better place to announce the day that we're launching the game? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's time. Andrea Renee, and finally, after months and months of waiting, we've got a release date. Yes, BioWare has announced at the Eurogamer Expo. Exactly. December 20th is going to be the release date. I immediately started to say, my friends, I'm going to be off for a week or something like that. And me and my friend, uh, my best buddies, are decided to, okay, we're going to join in, we're going to get the collector's edition, we're going to go and eat something, and after that, we just wait until we're getting into the early access. The early access started in December 13, seven days before the actual release. Uh, one of my other friends decided to go out there and have a LAN or something like that, we just playing together and stuff like that, and until then... On December 16, 2011, I got my email and he said, you have access to the game. And 
in the middle of the game, I mean the middle of the LAN party, I said, guys, I'm not gonna play anymore. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna jump in straight in to Star Wars The Old Republic. <laughs> First I created my good old Jedi Knight, because that was my favorite character at the time, and uh, name it Appler. The reason why is Appler, because a lot of people are saying, uh, why, why is it Appler, or what is the meaning of the name? Uh, back in the day before uh, Star Wars Galaxies was a thing, I mean a game, uh, I was a cha uh, my character was there called Ozawa but it was a really bad name and it was on the other server and when I decided to go into another server uh, every name just been used already used so I decided to go click 10 or 15 randoms and random names until I got this one which is the Appler one and it was so hilarious first of all and I said okay this is actually suits let's just write into it and that's how I got the name and every now and then I use this name to any other MMOs which I'm, I'm playing. So I jumped into Tython and uh, me and my g uh, guild who played uh, Star Wars Galaxies, we decided to, okay, we're just gonna straight jump into Star Wars The Old Republic, obviously, and we're just gonna play. We started to level up, I think I finished Tython, and after that, I went into the Republic fleet, but it was so laggy at the time. Uh, I decided to say, okay, I had enough. I leveled up level 11, level 11 and then the next days uh, I went home and I started instantly play a lot of Star Wars The Old Republic. I went in there, I finished up to level 50, and then... Uh, I, I started to do a lot of open world PvP. Back in the day, the open world PvP was in Illum. Uh, there is some footage here where I can show, but this is not mine, obviously. This is from back in the day. It was really, really laggy. Basically, one Imperials or the Imperial Empire slash Republic need to go to one base to another and pretty much killing a lot of people. It has been buggy, first of all, laggy and stuff like that. The war zones was not really my thing, but the hotball was really, really good. So I wanted to go a lot of hotballs. So as soon as they removed that, uh, I mean, they removed the, the open world PvP, I decided to go into war zones and play a lot of PvP. And at the time, at the beginning, I was only doing PvP. And it was a really, really fun experience playing with a lot of friends or just players who I started to know in that server. I also started the Tomb of Freedom NAD, which is a really huge hit back in the day. So I started to jump in and started to play a lot of PvP. And I said, okay, I want to create more characters. That's why I got my second character, which is called Peter pretty much my name because everything else is already used so I created that and uh, then I decided to give it to a friend to you know just try it out and see how it goes he created bounty hunter which is called Tupika uh, and then I decided to create my other character my gunslinger and this is called rapper because I decided to go to like since it's a legacy name is called fruit back in the day i named it i i just went into fruits so appler grapper uh, oranger so on and on and on <laughs> so i went into fruit names after the pvp me and the guild decided to go into ev story mode uh, ev story mode was really really hard for us especially the first boss so I think I done it with a few other guilds slash pugs 
which uh, a lot of people are interested but a lot of people went into uh, back in the day there was like more than a thousand gills and especially like five or six hundred who went into the kills like world first seconds doesn't really matter server first euro first so so on and on and uh, then I decided to okay I'm gonna create that grappler character leave it into my guild which is called TGO in that time and I decided to okay I'm gonna leave that right there and my main, which is the Aplo, uh, I decided to go for uh, a guild which is like more PvE oriented because I had sick of the PvP at that time. And then a lot of things have been changed.